going to be a quick tour of the basic media importing and soloing and playing back functions. So I have a rushes folder here from a short film and I drop the rushes into this bottom left corner and first on first import they get scanned the waveform caches get scanned this has been pre-scanned already once the scan happens everything loads immediately so you can click on subfolders here or you can click on the master folder so clicking on this master folder shows me the entire contents of the of all of the subfolders clicking on an individual subfolder shows me just the contents of that folder so I will click on the master folder, show you everything. So this is the detail list, as you'd expect. It just shows any metadata you want to see for the current selection. You can choose the columns here. Just move that onto the video. Choose the columns here, and they will appear. We have a takeaway, track summary, takeaway bit depth it's now gone bring back note to there but this project has no notes um fill the screen again so you can resize the columns you can rearrange them if you want to you can sort by clicking so that sorts in alphabetical or reverse alphabetical order, you sort the duration, sort the channel count, the, sam the sample rate, and they're all the same, but I imagine you could sort them if you want to. Real, or by scene, or by timestamp, whatever you need. These columns represent the track names, and they adapt to the size of the current selection. So if everything in the current selection is just three channels, you'll just see three. If it's 15, you'll see a large array of 15 channels. Um, you can search via these various search terms. So if I want the name to contain fee, it live, search, live filters, and then so everything there said called fee. And if I want to just show takes that contain an X, let's say, so you can do the second term, takes contain X, that's there. Everything you'd expect. Um, the current waveform you select appears here, and then you click around to play back. And that's the absolute position within the waveform. That's the timestamp base position, and that's the length of the selection. And you can zoom in by just doing a scroll wheel maneuver and doing option scroll wheel zooms in on the waveform so you can just vary it as you need like that um, if you make a selection and press Z Z toggles to the selection and back out again uh, you can solo, many ways to solo by clicking on the headers you can drag on that so that's clicking and dragging up and down there very quick and there are more advanced solo modes, including, again, that's off the screen, but I'll move it there. Live solo does jumping to this, the track that you click on immediately. So that's one fast mode of soloing. And then you can do this play on click, sorry if that's off the capture, play on click as well just plays if you're not played it starts the playback just by clicking so you can jump around very fast and while you're clicking here while you're clicking around you can press up and down and it just moves along the take list what if I don't I quit so this live solo plus play on click plus different how it works. jumping up and down with with the up and down keys is very fast. It's very difficult to call you mother. And loop playback, obvious. Loops playback, return on stop. When that lies in the dark. Just vain. Means that it returns when you stop rather than. So it's returning 
or it's not returning, it just moves forward. Uh, follow playhead if you wish. Redemption comes in much different ways than expected, mother. And then send to playhead, which is a bit of a bit of a laugh. Uh, maintain zoom attempts to maintain the zoom de the zoom position. What does discipline ever? You turn off play on click. Attempts to maintain the zoom position when you move between clips. So on this track, it's zoomed somewhere in the middle, and I'll zoom in with the Z. And then if I change, it's sort of staying in the middle. Of those tracks. So if I zoom to the end and zoom in, also on live solo, so I'll turn that off. If I zoom to the end, pressing Z, and move to other takes, it stayed kind of around the end. So just when you're jumping to alts and things, that can be useful for uh, getting you roughly into the area of the of the alt. Maintain solo, which is on. If you select Boom A and go to another track, it'll try to find Boom A. Simple. If it doesn't find it, it just turns off the solo. There, like that. That's a mono track, so it turned off the solo. Mono track. You can't solo mono track, so there's no no reason to click on that. If I look for Budgie and go to a non Budgie, it's unsoloed. If I try again, Alice and go to here, there's no Alice there, so it unsoloed. Go here, Alice. And it's staying on Alice. Oh no, no Alice there, so it went. So you see that works. Um, that's all those functions. On the right click, there's the Z I talked about. Spot to Pro Tools, I'm going to talk about in a different video and add to Pro Tools, different video. Reveal in Finder, as you'd imagine, there shows, brings up Finder. Rebuild Wave Cache, we'll remake the Wave Cache in the unlikely event that something goes wrong with it, which I've never seen happen. Um, and the only right click on the media list is reveal in finder, similar to above, but just if you want to reveal from there, it will reveal. Okay, that's a good for the moment. I'll more videos and other stuff later.